Hi everyone. I will now paint in this kind of drawing exercise which is also the main part of my body of work is this line work this has been my daily training for many years with a pen or later with a thin brush I have done this in so many ways and made so many mistakes so I can just do it now it's, it's like a long term project I think that instead of pushing myself to have ideas I can do this and our ideas will come and many times I can do one of these and they suck but the amount is so big that I can choose from these drawings some of them and use them as inspiration or even as the works of art they are I always try to do the to have an idea of the number of drawings I have like this one and it's in the thousands I, I don't know it's folders I'll try to make a video later with the folders but yeah so the lines being tighter or more separated with more space are what will give the full last composition so doing them more faster or slower also changes what happens instead of composing like from an idea of a division of the geometric geometric plane I just start growing like a fungi colony and it finds its ways I guess Here you can see this kind of thicker line. It just happened. I, I I I wasn't planning that, but this will be a key place of the composition. It's just how it works. It's there's more weight here, so maybe this connects with this edge, and. Believe it or not, and even if we are thinking or not about it, every time you have two strong places, you your mind will immediately, automatically find where a third dot or point to an equilateral triangle would be. So that would be like here I think so it's outside the paper anyway I could from here start something just like when playing um, is it pool billiard I don't know but when it goes I, I suppose that the strength it had to get here, you can mirror it 
to here and see what happens. I have also many times tried to make more density inside something that was already made and I have I have had success and also failures and I think that this kind of work that it's so intuitive to me and I have done for so many years so long hours almost every day gives me the chance to learn very slow even if I'm doing it fast I'm learning like every day by repetition so it's I think like in like you have in big traditions that everyone makes the same for decades sometimes hundreds of years maybe I'm doing that in a condensed sort of way just one person but doing this like every day a lot of hours so for example if I wanted to change this style it would take me some major discoveries or a lot of work consciously trying to change it so it's hard to change but it grows slowly it's like a giant in my life now what I mean is that if I try to tweak this style and I would say okay I'll do this but with a big color spot or, or a stain, a, a big color area in the middle and then do the drawing that is something I have done that or other little ideas but it goes back to this so what is growing and evolving is just my line work through many years and it's a cool project that will take all my life I think I had a collection on OpenSea lazy minting I burned that one but it was all line drawings no one paid attention I think no one was ready for that or they didn't care and for example, my KO Genesis is one of these two, and now it's gonna be a year old without being collected. And that's fine because these are. I mean, if a work of art is a, a month's plan, a plan that lasts a month, it's correct and expectable that it sells in one week or one day but as this project is now 12 years old and it's a project that will take all my life uh, one year is nothing it, it, it isn't sold it's fine <clears throat> So I just go slower or faster. Sometimes I, I go back to these. I find some of them in a folder, months old, and I paint more. Sometimes I get these to physical and play with them. And Many of them look alike, 
many of them look different there's sort of different configurations of course it's a system that it's bigger than me now because no matter what uh, how big amount of energy I have when I start or wanting to do it it's like something huge that has been there for many years as I said so there are grayer lines gray the water some are very black like this and I can even compose when I have already this kind of thin landscape full so here we see some similar lines and here is more grey so I can see limits or yeah areas you would say it's all all little lines okay but for example as I pointed before this line has some presence and this area it's clearly separated from this one so I could make some accent on this division not by making this line which would be okay but too obvious I, I can work on this looking harder and where is this in in the whole page it's here it has it's a curve line but it has a horizontal feel to it so it's here and for example it's in the same distance from the top that this the center of this line is from the bottom and somehow the middle of this arc is yeah kind of I wouldn't say symmetrical but it relates to this shape too so finding those ways in which lines and areas resonate can be fun and interesting too.